Blake's. Like, hey, Scoob, did you hear Nikki Blake is hosting a Scooby-Doo panel? No. Yeah. Like on today's Scooby-Doo episode, Scooby-Doo and Shaggy meet Nikki Blake. Yeah, in a Scooby panel. <laughs> like, we need to get this puppy started. Yeah, okay. Nikki Blake, take it away, Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Welcome to the Scooby panel. We are celebrating the two year anniversary of the Scooby panel, which started May 8th, 2021. I can't believe it's been two years already. That's just crazy. Uh, we've had 73 panels, totaling 99 hours, 36 minutes and 12 seconds. That is almost a hundred hours of talking about Scooby-Doo without eye rolls and people walking away. It's amazing. It is so cool. That is why I started the panel. It's to be able to talk about Scooby-Doo with people that also love Scooby-Doo. So before we get into the conversation, I will have everybody introduce themselves. And Alexa, we'll start with you. I'm Alexa. I host the Unmasked History of Scooby-Doo podcast. Uh, happy two year anniversary. Trevor. My name is Trevor Hawkins, and I'm an intuitive pop artist, and Scooby-Doo is really one of my favorite things. And yes, happy anniversary to you, Nikki. Hey. Not just to me, to the panel. panel well, All of you are the panel as well. Okay. It's not just me. <laughs> Devin? Uh, I'm Devin Smith. I'm a miniature artist, uh, so I make little tiny versions of everyday things. Um, Happy anniversary to the panel and everyone that's been on it. And if it's all the panels or just one episode. And before anyone asks, I just want to show off uh, my white tiger shirt that I'm wearing <laughs> and my earrings made of moose poop that Wendy's dad so kindly made like 30 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan? Hey, my name is Jordan Smith. I am behind the art of Scooby-Doo and happy anniversary to the Scooby panel. And, yeah. Hi, I'm Bradford Smith. I'm a writer, Scooby fan, and um, I'm really grateful to be here for the, the anniversary. Wendy? Hi, guys. I'm Wendy Bridge. I'm a commissioned artist. I've been collecting Scooby for three decades, and I am happy to say I've been here since episode one of the Scooby panel. We love the panel. We love Nikki. Love to all of you if you're watching. And here's to like another 50 more panel years. Not just 50 more panels, 50 more years of panels. <laughs> Danny? Hi, I'm Danny Meager. I'm a Scooby Doo collector and a voice actor because of Scooby Doo. And I'm excited for another panel. I love you all. <laughs> and Joel. Hey there, I'm Joel from the uh, YouTube channel Planet Scooby and happy anniversary to the panel. Yeah, this is exciting. I'm so excited that we could all do this together for the two year anniversary. And yeah, I, I'm still amazed. Two years. It's, it's crazy, but it's awesome. Our first topic is what is your favorite thing about Scooby-Doo? Alexa? Um, there are so many things that I love about Scooby-Doo. Um, it's hard to pick, like, one thing. Um, I love the contrast between, like, the spooky and, like, kind of horror style elements versus, like, the comedy. Um, like, the haircut scenes with Scooby and Shaggy are some of my favorite things that exist. Um, and just, like, all the villain designs, all the character designs for the gang, the mystery machine um the backgrounds the characters all all of it I love all of it <laughs> <laughs> yes I have to agree I mean Scooby-Doo is a talking dog who taught us that the real monsters are humans he loves food and he's a loyal friend what's not to love about Scooby-Doo Trevor oh my goodness Okay, I, I just wanted to look at what I wrote, even though I, <laughs> I, I shouldn't have to. But I love about Scooby-Doo that it was the Breakfast Club, before the Breakfast Club. And they did it without all the drama that it took to get there, that four very different people could work together and be friends and solve mysteries. So it was just an essay on what true friendship is across all kinds of people. 
And sometimes you don't see that in real life, but I saw it there. So, and yeah. yeah. Devin, what's your favorite thing about Scooby-Doo? As Alexa said, a million things, especially like the the contrast, like you said, of the spooky and the funny and like the art, the, the two different styles of art within it. The background art itself is just so beautiful, like hang it on a wall, it's gorgeous. But then like the the villains, especially from like the original series, you know, where are you and stuff like the they're some of my favorite designs of like cartoon characters that have ever existed. Like they're just so beautiful and the gang is so classic. Their colors are so vibrant. And they just like pop against that dark backdrop. And I just, I think it's what made me love like spooky stuff and like horror movies as an adult is just growing up with Scooby-Doo. And that's another big part of it too, is just like the nostalgia, like growing up with it. Like it's like one of those shows that I watched like every single day. And like, I had to have all the toys. I had to have like the VHS tapes, the DVDs. Like I'd have everything growing up. And it's just like, it holds that special place in my heart because of that. Jordan, your favorite thing about Scooby-Doo? I absolutely agree with Devin. I definitely like the darkness to it because that was like the only thing, anything like spooky I was allowed to watch growing up. So I was like clinging on to that. <laughs> and um, yeah, um, I, love, I love the backgrounds and the villains too. I have to agree. Bradford? I mean, having... Uh, watch the show since I was like a few months old it's like everybody else it's like impossible to pick you know like one single thing um but the more I thought about it, like I really like the fact that the show's been able to last as long as it has and I know people you know criticize sometimes things being kind of similar but I mean there's been so many different types of monsters that have gone away from like the classic you know Dracula and Frankenstein kind of stuff you get like neon phantom or like uh with a giant burger all these weird crazy monsters and i think that's probably one of my favorite things wendy gooby's evergreen it doesn't matter if you're watching in 1969 or you're watching in 1999 or you're watching in 2023 scooby is still relevant it's still enjoyable and it's accessible to everyone. There's there's no one that's going to watch it and feel like they're being put down. It's something that you can watch and you're not only going to have a good time and enjoy it because as everybody has said, there's beautiful artwork in it. It's funny, it's kind of scary. It's got all of these great elements that come together, but you're also gonna learn something. You're gonna learn that friends are really important and you should protect your friendship. You're going to learn to be brave. You're going to learn all of these wonderful life lessons. And you're not even going to realize it because it's been put together in such a wonderful way that you think you're just having fun. Even as an adult, I watch it. And in my mind, I'm like, well, you know, I'm paying attention. I'm trying to pick up on the lessons. But even then, being fully aware that they're there, I'm still just like a little kid where I'm like, oh, look, there's the monster. Oh, look at this cool thing in the background. You know, I'm just, I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. Scooby is evergreen. He is never going to go out of style. It doesn't matter what you do. You can return to it and everyone's going to enjoy it. And I feel like Scooby is unique in that manner where in another hundred years, Let's go beyond 50. In another 100 years, Scooby's still going to be relevant to everyone. Danny, what's your favorite thing about Scooby-Doo? Uh, Scooby is its own vibe. Like, it's the spooky, the friendship, the humor, the mystery. It makes it its own thing that is, as I've said before, safe. Safe and wholesome. It's just a good time. And that's what makes me uh, love it the most is just it's good time for anybody who who wants to have a good time joel what's your favorite thing about scooby-doo uh, for me it's the whole package just looking back on it i mean we spent two years on the panel just discussing scooby-doo and we still haven't really unraveled the mystery of what makes it so great although we know what makes it so great but we can't pinpoint it and for me it's like the perfect combination of all these talented writers, artists, voice artists, or actors, and background artists, and staff helping up in the back end, just coming together, merging, just at the top of their game, just creating this, this franchise that's lasted 53 years, and we still love it to this day. So everybody here has been on at least one panel. 
Do you have a favorite moment from a panel that you have been on? Alexa? Um, there's so many good ones. One of my absolute favorites is um, having had the chance to do the in-person panel um because that still feels like a little bit surreal that we actually did that and like made that happen welcome to the scooby panel i'm your host nikki blake from scoobyaddicts.com and today we're doing our very first in-person panel Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we are here in indianapolis we came here to check out the scooby museum at, or the Children's Museum exhibit, and uh, we got to meet everybody for the first time. Um, and it was so fun to just be able to like chat about Scooby like nonstop for that whole weekend, like both like on and off camera. Um, and also the table topics I love because I love being able to work with you, Nikki, to figure out the questions that we're going to ask. Um, and also Devin, like eating weird food concoctions <laughs> unprompted. Uh, it's just like fun, you know, <laughs> it's just a good time. Good time. <laughs> it's like fun to feel sick later, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a McChicken with mayo, French fries, a fish filet, chicken oh. nuggets, and a McDouble. Oh, you lost me at fish filet. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> me too. And I would need to. Yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> yeah, I see you wish it do. down you and know know how to do it. What did what did Wendy say? Just Scooby Do it. <laughs> Scooby Do it. Yeah, I'm gonna squish it. There you go. I'm gonna Come squish on. it down. You're the only I'm guy gonna... here. You, you can't. <laughs> well, you can't shame yourself. Come on. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Hey, that was good. Like you got everything. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a fudge pop and grape soda in a <laughs> jar. So. I heard Tug it. Excited. Tug it. Come on. Okay, it's frothy like a root beer float for some reason. <laughs> what do you mean for oh. some reason? Ice cream and pop? But it's like a fudge pop. I didn't expect that. I'll be honest, <laughs> it's it's not good, but it's not bad. So those are some of mine, but I've been on, had the pleasure of being on so many panels um, and hopefully many more. Definitely. Uh, for me, yeah, I, I have to say the in-person panel was just awesome to be in the same room with you guys talking about Scooby-Doo, even though we weren't facing each other. Uh, <laughs> It was it was still just really cool and it, yeah it, I would love to do another in person panel although if we do it again Wendy you have to be there so yeah I guess we're going to Canada <laughs> absolutely let's go come on Joel and I are ready <laughs> Trevor do you have a favorite moment from a panel that you've been on I have a lot of favorite moments but I took that question that you meant the panel you were on maybe the moment that you were a part of so this one this one may seem a little selfish but i really enjoyed um when i shared my redesign of scrappy on the scrappy panel and i kind of redrew him in a in a way that I made him kind of like a kinder gentler uh pup and uh it was just fun to share that so how do you think that he could be better trevor we're going to start with you because you brought this up do you want me to you can show it sure. i put my money where my mouth is <laughs> so i read i redesigned him in a way that i think would, would please me and i think it would please a lot of people so basically you want cute puppy i, I made him cuter <laughs> it's like and uh, i shrunk his head a little bit and then i made his paws bigger I gave him a, an oversized collar to almost imply that he's wearing one of Scooby's old collars, which is like the ultimate in uncle respect. Like so, him. and since they have the same initials, I mean, I just think this is super logical. Um, cool. I've changed his color. I make him lighter, like a little more like his mom. So, I mean, this really isn't, this is halfway done. I, I was wanting to work on it more and I probably will, but, um, 
but yeah, I made his eyes bigger. And, and if, if there's ever color, I gave him blue eyes. Scooby has brown. So um, I shrunk his eyebrows a little bit, you know, to make him look a little less pushy. So, and I little gave him a little tuft of hair, kind of a little tuft of, of fluff there. Devin, do you have a favorite moment from a panel that you've been on? Absolutely. Um, you you and Alexa both kind of stole my answers. I was going to say, sorry to everyone that didn't get to join it in person, but it was super fun. Like just seeing everybody like in the real world, like it felt so surreal and it still does. And I knew you guys was like, one of you was going to say that. So I put pick something different. And another one of my favorite memories is, I don't even remember the context of it, to be honest, but we were talking about bat milk and bat cookies. <laughs> and like, there was a moment where I thought that somebody was talking about Scooby-Doo milking Batman's nipples to make bat milk. <laughs> and then Wendy, Wendy drew this lovely picture. No, it wasn't me. Older. I didn't draw that. I mean, it's an anonymous true. source drew this lovely picture <laughs> that I had to print off, yes, of, of Scooby-Doo milking Batman. Like, can you imagine somebody milking the Christian Bale Batman? <laughs> he's so he's so angry and kinda. bloody. And it's time for my milking. <laughs> like, I mean, kind of. <laughs> can you and should you are two different things. <laughs> That's true. That's true. They had they, the Batman costumes had nipples. <laughs> In the oh my ones. <laughs> and then after that panel aired, I believe uh, it was Hanna Barbera fan on on Instagram. I believe that he he drew this picture and sent it to me. Um, what does it say? It says, holy Dairy Queen Batman, aren't you done yet? And it's Robin milking Batman's nips. And then there's a cow and it says Devin's Dairy Farm on it. And I just thought that was really special. That something we <laughs> on the panel, something we discussed on the panel, like someone drew for me and sent it to me in real life. Like I thought that was just like really special. So <laughs> That's awesome. Jordan, do you have a favorite moment from the panel you were on? Yeah, um, I think it's funny how Wendy was like um, sort of hesitant about eating the food, but then like she ended up liking what was it like the the hot dog? Was it the chocolate. hot dog with the chocolate, chocolate sauce on it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah ten out of ten. <laughs> we are gonna start with the chocolate covered hot dog. Okay. And let's see how this goes because boy, hot dogs are gross. Who do we blame when we throw up? That's all. <laughs> Who's taking the blame? For this? Very all nervous. Right. You all. If, oh my so not only do, do I not like hot dogs, dogs, but my hot dog is cold. So yeah. Oh my. Gosh, oh, I man, can't. That Why are we doing this? <laughs> Why am I on this? Kind of... <laughs> Listen, we could have tried more disgusting stuff. This That's is true. like the least disgusting of everything. So, all right, here we go. So, here goes. <laughs> My God, that's not good. <laughs> I mm. mean, it's not bad. Mm. Like, I wouldn't, like, write home to my mom about it, but, like, <laughs> it's not bad. No, I was going in for seconds. Like, if you imagine this, that you were just, like, it's, like, a nice sun day, day, and you're having a hot dog and a chocolate milkshake? Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's, that's, that's the thing. <laughs> it's kind of, I mean, it's not disgusting, but... Mm -hmm. It's like the fried from a chocolate milkshake, but it's like, it's stepbrother. Like it's not quite the family, it's kind of removed. Nope. Yeah, it's, I can't say that I agree with you guys that it's good, and I won't be taking another bite of that. Well, you, you <laughs> said oh, you do that up before. I'm going to eat the whole thing. I'm going to put chocolate on the rest of it. I can't believe it, but I mean, it's true. Yeah. But it's, it's not good. bad. It was very good. Have to agree. <laughs> Bradford, do you have a favorite moment from a panel you were on? I mean, I've I've enjoyed and had fun on probably all the panels, well, except except maybe the emergency one we had because Mystery Pups, you know, got canceled. That wasn't a fun panel. I mean, it was enjoyable to get to see everybody and talk and stuff. But um, but of all the moments, I think the most fun I had was on the trivia one that we did because I, I may not have come in first, <laughs> but I was definitely like on the edge of my seat, paying attention to every question that got asked hoping people would get it wrong so I could jump in and get some points, <laughs> get the right answer. 
Joel, what was the first Scooby-Doo series to be nominated for an Emmy Award? What's new Scooby-Doo? Mm -mm. Bradford. Was it a pup named Scooby-Doo? It was. Yeah. It was nominated for two daytime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Animated Program, one in 1989 and again in 1990. It lost both years to the Disney's The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, which in 1990 tied with Beetlejuice. Um. But yeah, that was that was probably the most fun I think I've had. <laughs> Wendy, do you have a favorite moment from a panel that you've been on? I know there's a ton of panels for you to choose from. Yeah, so technically my favorite moment is still when Bob Nesler was on and he noticed my Vincent Van Gogh um, crystal ball. And then I got to show him my Scooby's clues. But I answered that for our one year anniversary. So I did pick something from the last year. Um, I think I'm going to pick a specific moment, but it's also an, an overall kind of thing as well. And it's got to be when we're doing interviews with people that have directly worked with Scooby and being able to tell them in, per in person, you know, you can see them, they can see us, we can hear each other and being able to tell them what their life's work has meant to us. And so I think my favorite current moment would be when Nikki and I got to talk to Pat Fraley. And there's a moment where Nikki was asking some questions and he was so, he was just so, I don't know, he was so lively and just such a nice person to be talking to. And I was very excited. And at one point I was, I just, I said something to him, like, you know, I'm so happy talking to you that like my hands are shaking. And he said, I know I can hear it in your voice. I'm so happy right now that my hands are shaking. Like, yes, I can I, hear I, it. I'm an, I'm I can adult. hear it in your voice. And but listen, Wendy, um, I had no idea when I went to a theater that I would be, be doing cartoon voices. I had no idea. I had no plan. But when I was a boy, I never, by the way, I never wanted to be a cartoon guy. That's where God led me. I, I, I was capable of saying, well, you know, that's what it is. But I never thought, well, because I've been around the death because my mom was on the deck, because I was encouraged to be exaggerated. I never thought that. But it's something that happened to me, and I loved cartoons as a kid. Loved them, and I feel the same way as you, Wendy. It was a delight. And just the look on his face that he then went on to talk about what he did and that it meant something to him, that it meant something to, to other people. And just that look of like genuine appreciation when we're trying to appreciate him. I feel like there's nothing, there's nothing that can top that because these people deserve to be recognized. They deserve our love and appreciation and they should be household names, voice actors, background painters, writers, producers, anyone that had anything to do with Scooby or any cartoon or show that you love. And anytime that you can give them that love and you can show them that they mattered, something that you did mattered to me, it mattered to other people. That's the best. I mean, that's my favorite thing about getting to do the panels. I mean, I love getting to be with all of you and other Scooby fans and just share what, what we all love. But there is something really, really special that I never thought I would have the privilege of being able to do, Jerry Eisenberg. And it was just, I mean, like, I was so starstruck because this person did this amazing thing that is like this huge part of my life. And yet we're talking to him and he's just a regular guy. He's just a regular guy with the sweetest wife in the world. His you know, wife we made were, him leave the panel because we were yes. talking for so long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it was just like, that's, that's amazing to get to meet them and 
say, you know what, you matter to me and I love you and thank you. And so while I have enjoyed every single thing that we've ever done on any of the panels, that to me is the best part of the panels for, for me and what I have been able to be a part of is meeting these people and being able to, to tell them that so that they know because they deserve to know. Danny, do you have a favorite moment from a panel that you've been on? Uh, knowing the, the real life one would be uh, brought up, I came up with another. Um, uh, very predictable, I would say, would be panel 17, which was the Xmas episode where we talked about our grails and our collections because I have a problem. Um, <laughs> and just... <laughs> <laughs> seeing everybody talk about their favorites or the things that they wanted and seeing everybody's like immediate response to want to get everybody their grails which ended up with me getting a grail <laughs> um but like just immediately was like do i have that do i can i find that okay i'll remember that and just that energy was was just really special to me and made me really excited and I caused a bunch of people to spend money. <laughs> Get you all to buy more scoobs. I'm done with that. Uh, as long as you're not in a vacuum. <laughs> if if I'm going to be in one, I'm finding a way to <laughs> this old one, the scoob. Okay. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Glad to be of help. Joel, do you have a favorite moment from a panel you've been on? I got about three or four, but I'll be quick with everyone. Uh, first one, like one of the last panels we did, I logged in and like everyone was dressed as Freddy. Was, <laughs> hey, Joel. Hey, Joel. Hey. Hey. Joel's looking good with that beard. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, he's got the hobo beard from Mystery Incorporated that I wanted to have. I, sh <laughs> I shaved mine today. Oh. For character. For yeah. Character. <laughs> All of you look good. Thanks. Thank you. I'm, just, I'm taking it all in, so I'm not coming. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. A lot of ascots. Yeah, a lot of. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong no. with that. <laughs> Blew my mind. And then another one, I, I believe it's Bradford. You mentioned um, Tony Danza and the Chest of Ghouls. There's like some weird special. <laughs> that just was crazy. I think that's what happened to the big chest of demons that they made for um, the one Saturday preview show. They have like a full a full size chest of demons. Really? Oh, I've never mm -hmm. seen that. You've never seen it's um no. Uh, it's called the Saturday Fun Fit Test. I think is like the full full name of it. It has Tony Danza as hosting with um, Tony Danza and. This is like an, a, a gymnast lady. And it's a preview for everything that was going to air on Saturday morning on like ABC, probably probably ABC at that point. Yeah. And there's mm -hmm. a segment where they have a full chest of demons. And then, Nikki, like we did the Thanksgiving episode and you sent me this video of like Scooby dancing during the parade in a float singing. A, that was just awesome. That wasn't even on. The, did that make the panel? It probably made the panel. But yeah, that just blew my mind. And I could do more. I could go on, but uh, those three were my favorite moments from from the last year. Awesome! They're all great moments. I mean, we've had so much fun on the panels and after the panels. If we've had almost a hundred hours of actual recorded that's been released, I wonder how much time has actually been recorded. I mean, some of the recordings are five, six hours long. So, yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so our final question, do you have a favorite thing or moment from any panel, just in general? Alexa? Well, broadly, <laughs> um, <laughs> I just love the, the community that we've built in like a face-to-face -face way um, through video calls. Um, it's just so nice to be able to spend hours talking about Scooby-Doo with people that get it, people that understand it, people that also love it as much as I do. Um, 
but specific moment wise, I'm a trivia gal. Um, so loved watching Alex just like crush that trivia challenge. Who do you think knows the most Scooby? Alex. Yeah. Alex. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> All right. We have Wendy has 11, Alex has 14, Joel has one, and Bradford has eight. Yay! Well deserved, Alex. Good job, Alex. <laughs> oh, and he crushed that for sure. Yeah. Yeah, he was good. <laughs> uh, for me, it's definitely just getting to know everybody through the panels and making friendships. I mean, you guys are the best. Being able to talk to all of you about Scooby-Doo and about the weird things that happen after the panel. <laughs> it's just, it's a lot of fun. And I'm really grateful to have met all of you through the panel and to continue talking to you and having you guys on. And it's, it's great. Trevor? I have many, many moments. And uh, a lot of it, all the general moments that are really good that are not going to be mentioned, but that are so good that that they just are mentioned is just, yeah, the talking that you've done to the creators and the, the artists and on the background people and, and uh, producers has just been um, really wonderful to, to get backstory on things. So that being put aside, <clears throat> I have two. Um, one was the recent one with Scooby Natural. I stopped and replayed and guffawed and guffawed about Nikki's uh, pearl clutching about the Marmag Marmaduke reference. <laughs> and it's like, oh, no, you didn't. Sam says, play. There are no words in this newspaper, Dean. We should be trying to get out of here. And instead, you're hanging out with Marmaduke. And Dean gasps and says, how dare you? And like, I literally had that exact same response when I first saw that. I was like, how oh, could you? <laughs> I just, that was just so pure and sweet. No, I mean, you were just like, ah, I'm going <laughs> to sock him because, you know, messing with my Scooby. And then the other thing is a windy moment. And it's the crystal and amber thing. <laughs> I just can't get enough. I can't get enough. I hate Amber and Crystal. That whole angle to, I don't know, guys. I hate it. Remember that meme where it was like, we're going to revoke your Scooby card if you based right, on a controversial right. opinion? <laughs> That's an opinion I revoked your card for. <laughs> oh my gosh. When they flew off, I was like cheering. I'm like, thank you, Lord. Get the hell out of here. I was so done with that. I... I am sorry, guys, but she was so annoying. I wanted to slap her and be like, stop talking. Why are there words coming out of your mouth? I do not like you. I I, I hated every second. <laughs> Look at everyone's face. I think we were all in shock over that one when she said that. <laughs> I just... Oh, my gosh. Wendy, you can step in. And I'm gonna be carrying that cross till the day I die. That's, I'm sure. No, it's it's just you're normally so like news anchor professional and super perky and sweet, and no one would ever think you thought anything bad about anything. And it's like, Bleh. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> Devin, do you have a favorite thing about the panels or a favorite moment in general? Absolutely. Skipping all the mushy stuff because I love you guys to death and I love talking to you guys like and just getting to know you and it face to face and it's great and I love it. But the thing I love the most is that I cannot have a single conversation with Wendy since we did the Bravo Doobie Doo panel without her asking me to say Aunt Jebedissa. Every single time I talk to her, she asks me to say it and it ha and and I it's just there. <laughs> Are you gonna do it right now? I don't well, know. I, I think you should do it at the end, but I, mean, I, I think that it. yes, I think now you need to do that. Oh, now? Okay. So, right this we'll second? Right, right this now. second. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.
<laughs> do you need a moment to prepare? Do you need? I had to get the character. <laughs> Devin needs the hand. That's it. It's a, it's a, you have to have it. Okay. Andrew Medusa. <laughs> and seeing. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> And now I'll never do it again. That was my final. Oh my <laughs> no, you cannot retire a gift like that, Devin. No. I can do whatever no. I want. Oh. Even even if you never did it again, there is a video of you out there. So I know. There's a whole it's compilation. Good. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan, do you have a favorite thing about the panels or a favorite moment from the panel in general? Um Getting to know everyone for sure. And um, I love that this panel, uh, this panel, but like Scooby panels, that it, the salvation of Be Cool Scooby Doo, like it, it helped everyone not hate it as much. So, it's a good Thank show. You. <laughs> it is a good show. Bradford, do you have a favorite thing about the panels or a favorite moment? Uh, I I definitely love watching you guys interview people and talk to people who worked on the show. But I think what I like the most is just getting to see all these people that I've, you know, seen like on Twitter or whatever, even if I'm not involved in the panel, like just watching these panels and seeing these people like in real life, you know, talking about, you know, Scooby-Doo and how much they love it and just, you know, stream of consciousness kind of stuff versus, you know, I know social media, sometimes we can like, kind of pre-plan all that kind of stuff what we're going to say so it's kind of nice just to you know hear everybody talking about this and how much they love it and it's that's i don't know i think that's really cool wendy do you have a favorite thing about the panels or a favorite moment oh, i no. kid you not <laughs> my pick is from panel 45 bravo dvd and it is devin doing <laughs> aunt <laughs> Jeb 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 and <laughs> i'm telling you I, if you, Devin, if you lived, if you live to be a hundred years old and somehow, I mean, well, I won't still be alive, but I will come back as a ghost. And before you die, I'll be like, Devin, I'm here to help you. But if you want to come with me, you're going to have to do it. Like, yeah. I don't care that you've had a stroke and you can only move the left side of your body. Left hand. Make We're still work. good. Okay. We're still good. I hope those are my last words. <laughs> yeah, for every... oh, oh, and your your pastor would be like, row, row. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, please please don't put rest in peace on my tombstone. Just write rut row on there. <laughs> Oh, I'm crying. Oh, beautiful. Danny, do you have a favorite thing about the panels or a favorite moment? Um, it's definitely in line with that. Like, I like the bloopers. I like the times we laugh because, like, fandom can get so ridiculously serious. I feel like it forgets that it's like about like having a good time with people. I was of so tempted to turn on my camera like this <laughs> <laughs> and just be like, "Hey, guys." Yeah. I love Awesome. How you? <laughs> the internet is so enabling. You guys are all enabling. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Nikki. You're making me laugh. That's funny. Did you eat the whole thing? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> and I recall you saying, "I can't believe we're actually going to try this." And no. look at you. Like now, this I is going to be your new favorite thing. <laughs> I advocate for this, unless I throw up later. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So um, the amount of times Nikki's been like, I'm not putting that in. And we're all like, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you not putting that in. I just went insane. <laughs> like the entire time where I, uh, when you talked about uh, getting your wardrobe and getting locked in the <laughs> garage and I told you to take them uh, out before they take you out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and now she has to take that out too, unless we leave it in. <laughs> I made it PC, so it's safe. Oh, okay. yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Take them out to the ball game. Exactly. <laughs> Lots of options. 
but yeah I like every time even even if I'm watching and there's like a big giggle like it just it totally makes my day every single time and those those always stand out to me yeah Joel, do you have a favorite thing about the panel or a favorite moment from the panels? Yeah, from this season two, I'd have to say just seeing all of you gather at the Scooby Museum. I was I didn't attend obviously, but it was cool to see everyone there, and it was just fun for me to watch as a Scooby fan. Just seeing something I've never seen happen before just kind of happen. It was awesome. Anybody have any final thoughts, Alexa? Um, I love you all. Aww. <laughs> Trevor? Um, just, I don't, I'm thoroughly blessed to, to be included in, uh, with the cool kids. And, uh, it's really nice. It's some, I've loved Scooby long before. I mean, you know, I met, you know, I mean, it's like, it was a fan to my held privately <laughs> and I never really thought I would ever get to, to be as out loud with it as I am so I still feel like I don't deserve to be here because I don't bring much to the table but thank you anyway so you do you're good Devin yeah first of all I love you Trevor you're great so don't ever say that again um <laughs> I also love all of you <laughs> and everyone that's like interacted in the comments that hasn't ever been on a panel I've never like had the pleasure to actually talk to like people that are in the comments telling us that they enjoy it it's great because it, it helps keep us going to want to make more of these and just like knowing that people like watching them and like it's just a, it's just great it's great to be a part of this and i'm glad that i took a leap of faith i was super new, nervous to do my first panel a year and a half ago and i'm glad i was like hey nikki can i like maybe be on this like i don't know do you have people on it and then it was great and i'm just happy to be here i was nervous the first time and now i wear earrings made of poop on it and it's, <laughs> it's been a great year and a half it's been a great year and a half <laughs> Jordan, any final thoughts? Um, I I want to thank you for letting me be on these because even though sometimes I have to work and I can't, <laughs> but um, I am just glad getting to know everybody and uh, you guys are like my best friends. Aw, well, and we appreciate you. Yeah, taking yeah. some time off from work to do this one today. <laughs> And your artwork oh, course, is awesome. You. And your artwork Yours is awesome, too. Jordan. Oh, well, I didn't you say You bring I'm... a lot to the table, Trevor. Don't you forget. <laughs> oh, it. Thank... All right. But you, your stuff, yeah. You, your stuff is awesome. It has a lot of heart, dude. So, yeah. Our art challenges are very awesome as I plug our art challenges. But... <laughs> yeah. These are oh, both nice. Jordan. You painted these. They're not, That's I had awesome. them hanging up, but I'm rearranging stuff right now. So they're okay. ironically right next to me. <laughs> oh, very <laughs> nice. <laughs> and I love them Back so much. Back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> Bradford, any final thoughts? I just, I'm so grateful for all the panels I've been able to be on, and hopefully I can be on some more. Um, and I, I'm just, I'm so glad that this has helped build the fandom and the community and, you know, bring a lot more people in I, and introduce people to other people. Cause I mean, I've got to meet all kinds of people through these, and it's really cool. And yeah. Wendy? Just a piece of advice. If you have a friendship or a relationship where the love is not the level of love that all nine of us have for Scooby, it's not worth it. Okay? It's not <laughs> worth it. Find somebody that looks at you the way that we look at Scooby, or even better yet, the way that I look at Scrappy, because then you know it's real. And it is <laughs> oh, never it's real ending. Something. It is forever. It's real something. I mean, <laughs> it's real. And you watch yourself. You watch yourself. <laughs> I, I don't know what did, did somebody say something? Oh, my what my mic wasn't even on. <laughs> Why did your mic doesn't go off again? Karma. Uh, you know what karma is. Yeah, uh, crap. Final, final thought, guys. This is just the beginning. Scooby panel will live on. We're gonna keep going. So you better stick around because it's gonna be awesome. Danny, final thoughts? Uh, to any Scooby fan, including the people who comment, we see you and we appreciate you too. Uh, I think I can speak for all of us when I say, like, reach out to us. We'll talk Scooby with you. Like, all of you matter. All of you deserve to have a good time. Um, and I'm so glad that I get to be a part of the Scooby community and just, just 
It's good times, good scoops. I'm just <laughs> down. <laughs> Joel, any final thoughts? Uh, Nikki, I'm still in a daze over your intro where you said you had about 99 hours worth of Scooby panel out because I watched at least every panel two or three times, which means on average, I've spent 10 days of my life watching Scooby panels <laughs> in two years. Wow. That's impressive. Well, <laughs> think of all the editing you did. You probably spent 20 days, 30 days editing. Whoa. Probably, thank you, yeah. Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. <laughs> Actually, thank, thank you for all you. you do. Yeah, there would wouldn't be happening without you, Nikki. I just want to say thanks to all of you for being on the panels, for talking Scooby because it's it's awesome. Uh, be sure to check out everybody's links in the description of the video. Thanks to anybody that's been on a panel, anybody that we've interviewed, anyone that's given us their time, anyone that's watched a panel. I know it's a commitment because they can be pretty long, but we love Scooby and we talk a lot. So what can I say? Uh, thanks to our Patreon subscribers. And it's awesome that we've been doing this for two years. And I look forward to more conversations with everybody. And I'm excited to see what, what happens in the future with the Scooby panel. So that's all we've got. Thank you for joining us for another Scooby panel. <laughs> Hi everyone at the Scooby panel. I just wanted to say congratulations for the two year anniversary. I think you guys are doing a stellar job. Um, it's not easy to keep with it that long and um, I can't wait to see the next episode. Congratulations Wendy and Nikki. Thank you for tuning in to another Scooby panel. I'm Nikki Blake from ScoobyAddicts.com. If you like these panels, please subscribe to my channel for more great discussions. A huge shout out to our patrons, Julie Rosen, Ross from ScoobyFan.net, Scooby-Doo of Roblox, Ruth Elliott Hilsden, and Tage. If you would like to support the Scooby panel, please go to patreon.com slash scoobyaddicts. A very special thank you to Alexa Lawler from the Unmasked History of Scooby-Doo podcast, pop artist and Scooby fan Trevor Hawkins, miniature artist and Scooby fan Devin Smith, artist and Scooby fan Jordan Smith, writer and Scooby fan Bradford Smith, artist, blogger, and Scooby collector Wendy Bridge, Scooby collector and Guinness record holder Danny Meager, and Joel from Planet Scooby. Scooby panel is available in podcast form on most podcast platforms or as a web series on YouTube. You can find Scooby panel on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as at Scooby panel. Scooby and Shaggy were voiced by Scott Innes. Check out Scott's website, onescottshop.com. Scooby Addicts artwork by Will Davenport. Video editing by Nikki Blake. Music composed and performed by Bovine Nightmares. Please join us next time for another Scooby panel. <laughs>